Yep, we're going to turn left. This is a cool road. So, we're leaving Ampweiler. We're going to cross the river here, the R. R. And we're going to go up the hill, past the Ampweiler Muller here, the old mill. We're going to go up the hill to uh, Rodda, which is only three kilometres away. But this is a super well surfaced, super twisty road. Um, there's a couple of little bits that are really tight. It's not a fast road. I mean, we can throw it through the twisty bits here as a stick to the lane. This is definitely more of an Africa Twin Road than a Daytona 1200 road. Just get that in early. It's all pretty much first gear. Oh, that is a terrible smell. What an awful smell. That is a serious amount of pig muck lingering in the air. You should be so happy there's no smelly vision. Bit wet. Oh, and diesel as well. Nice. Nice combo there. Let's just get away from that. Pig crap on the left. Diesel all the way up the right hand side here. And it's wet. Oh. I think the heating oil truck has been up here. Or a tractor or something. Yee. Oh wow, 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 wow. That is a lot of diesel. That is a lot of diesel. I don't know if Billy's missed that, or if he just thinks the flickering traction control is the lights going off in his head. Wasn't going to take any risks on that. You know, when you're riding an old bike like this, with no ABS and no traction control, look at that. All up there as well. It really does make you paranoid. I mean, I learned on motorbikes way before they had ABS and traction control, and even when I was a, a young man, having a motorbike with ABS was, was quite a novelty. Very wet road. It's north facing, I think, that's why. We're heading back south here. Welcome to Rodda at the top of the hill. Now, coming down the other side will be a lot drier. <laughs> 